Hey there everybody, I'm Katerina Cosplay and today I wanted to do just a simple, chill, sit-down video where I chat with you about all the manga I've been collecting. I've collected manga off and on for the past eight years, but I would say I've been an anime-only person for the longest time. I read a lot in secondary school. Um, I read Fullmetal Alchemist and K-On and Blue Exorcist um, and a series like that. I did also really like shoujo manga so um, whatever I could get my hands on I would read and uh, I think around the end of secondary school when I started college I kind of started watching anime more just because I could get through more series that way. Um, when I watch anime, most of the time I can do something else in between, whereas with reading manga I have to be focused on the thing, um, which my brain doesn't always feel like doing. Uh, but as I'm reading regular books more, I get through manga quite quickly nowadays, and um, I don't know this why, but this summer I got a lot of manga related videos in my YouTube recommended that I've been binge watching, and it's just kind of sparked something within me and I've really wanted to start collecting again. So let's get into the stuff I actually bought. I do want to be very transparent that this is manga that I've been collecting over the span of about four months, so it's not something that I just bought in one go. It's, I've slowly been picking things up here and there, um, which also makes it more difficult to realise how much you're spending on books, but <laughs> let's just not think about that too much. First, manga that I ordered was a duo, uh, an order together with Cutie Cosplay. She uh, was ordering stuff off of Archonia and asked if I needed anything and I was like, well, actually, I would like to continue reading Land of the Lustrous. Um, so I have had volume one for a very long time. I watched the anime when it came out and I really liked it and then I was kind of like, oh yeah, I'll start reading this manga series because the anime isn't getting a season two any time soon, uh, so I need to fill that void and get answers. Um, I tried reading it digitally first, but I don't particularly enjoy doing that. I like having a physical copy, but I've had volume one for a while and then I kind of forgot about it with kind of the mindset of, oh, it's popular, they'll restock it, it's fine, um, and then they don't, so now I can't find volume four. <laughs> It's a little painful but anyways I did find two and three and I'm looking forward to continuing the series and just keeping my eye out for these volumes more actively. Then a month later or two months later uh, Cutie Cosplay was ordering again and asked if I wanted anything and at that time I've been binge watching a lot of manga hauls and other manga related YouTube content. The one the one manga series that I saw recommended a lot was A Sign of Affection, which is a shoujo romance about a deaf girl who falls in love with a well-travelled man. Um, what I like about this is instead of it being like a high school romance, they're in college, um, which as someone who is doing a bachelor's right now, that just feels a bit more relatable, they're more mature, but it's still very cutesy and wholesome and I really like this sh series. I want to get the next volume because I've already read this um, and also the books are very pretty. I really like the art style, the watercolour effect and that kind of stuff so this one I get the hype, I do really get the hype so I'm very excited to continue reading this. <laughs> and the other manga that I saw recommended a few times that I wanted to try it was Prince Freya which is uh, another shoujo romance uh, I think it's more of a shoujo fantasy, yes there are love interests, but this manga fo follows Freya who's a girl who lives in a village um, and she just so happens to look an awful lot like the prince of the kingdom and the prince gets poisoned uh, and therefore she has to take his place to avoid war and other conflicts to arise. I like this more than I was expecting. I was expecting her to just be this like badass and like really like a bit m masculine coded almost um, but she's very sensitive and gentle and 
that's really nice in contrast to what the prince was like. She has to fill this role, but she also is a more sensitive person and she treats the people around her differently than the prince would. So navigating that was very interesting. I like how the writer decided to not like sacrifice femininity to make a cool heroic character. It's it's nice to have a heroine who's like sensitive but still badass and can kick ass. I usually gravitate towards those kind of stories so um, I loved it so much after reading it that in my next order from Archonia I picked up volume two and three because it's good and volume four wasn't in stock so there you go. Um, yeah I've already read these. I like it so far. I'm very excited to uh, get volume four. It's out of stock on Archonia, unfortunately, but I'm going to search around and see if I can find it anywhere else. But yeah, this, this is a good series. And then with this order, I did also get some more manga, because at this point I was kind of like, well, you know, I'm getting back into it and I might as well go ham. So here we are. The first thing I searched for was any Puella Maji manga that I did not yet have. And one of them was Oriko Magica's extra story. Um, I'm still missing the first volume of Oriko Magica, but I do have all the Sadness Prayers volumes. And I have volume two of Oriko Magica. Um, <laughs> and I have some more Puella Maji manga series. Um, so I picked it up because I want them all and I need them all. So <laughs> there we go. It probably doesn't come as a surprise to you that I then also picked up the Cosmo Familia manga series. So this is a manga series written by the artist who worked on the Madoka Magica mangas. I'm always going to pick up a Magical Girl series if I can find it and it looks cute. I wanted to give this a go. It's only three volumes so I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot, see if I like it. And we'll see about that because I haven't read this one yet. So that was everything I ordered from Archonia, which is like an online store where you can order manga and figurines and other kind of merchandise. Um, but I did also order from Bowl.com, which is kind of the Dutch equivalent of Amazon. Um, and on there, I found a manga that wasn't in stock on Archonia, which is The Girl from the Other Side. This series, I'm going to be honest, I kind of just thought the cover was pretty, so I wanted it. <laughs> and I'm glad that I did. I read this the moment it arrived in the mail and I really like it. It's a darker story uh, than what I usually read. Um, the art style is also very nice. It's kind of like an old picture book kind of art style. Um, the story is kind of cute in a melancholic way. It's reflects a lot on the unfairness of people and prejudice and I I just I really like it. Um, unfortunately a lot of the volumes aren't in stock and they've just started printing the omnibus versions which um, if I'd known that I would have picked that up but at least I have this one and I'm just going to try and collect as much as I can and catch up with it because I think the story is still ongoing for as far as I'm aware. And then as I was looking on Boulder.com anyways, I had a look at what series uh, they had that I've been collecting for a while and I found volume 5 and 9 of Shugotara. Now, if you've seen my oven eye haul, you know I picked up a couple of volumes at the con as well. I'm very, very close to completing the whole series. Uh, I think at this point all I need is volume 11 and volume 7 and then I'll have the whole series which I'm very excited about. Shugo Chara is the first uh, series I cosplayed from, Hinamori Ami was the first cosplay I ever made myself so this series is very special to me and it's really nice to be so close to having the whole series. I'm very excited about it. So that's it for new manga that I found but I did also have a look on Vinted which is a reselling site uh, mostly for clothes but people also sell books and furniture and manga on there. Um, most of the time the manga on there is French so that's something to look out for. I, d I don't know why it's always like hundreds of volumes of a series that I want to read but it's in French so I can't read it. I've also accidentally bought a French uh, Kingdom Hearts game before. <sighs> We're not going to talk about it. But what I did find was the English version of Otomen. Not just one but a collection of six volumes. I think I put, it was like 20 bucks for six volumes so of course I had to get it. Otomen is actually one of the first 
shoujo manga I ever read in secondary school. My friend Miwa had a couple volumes and let me borrow it. I, I love this series. So to give you a short synopsis, um, the main character is this guy and he has uh, this feeling that he has to present very masculine and only like masculine things. Um, but in fact he likes cute things like cooking and he knows how to sew and he likes reading shoujo manga. Um, and he's just actually a really sensitive guy, but because of his parents' divorce, his mother doesn't want him to like feminine things. Um, and so he has a bit of a complex about it until he meets this girl in school who he has a crush on and his feminine side just kind of starts peeking through a little bit. And um, it's a very cute story. There's 18 volumes total of this series. Um, so I've been eyeing the rest of the series online seeing if I can get the whole collection before it's out of stock everywhere. Um, if you get to read this online, uh, maybe in ebook form, or find physical copies, I highly recommend it. It's, it's really good. And I'm not just saying that because of my nostalgia goggles, I swear. So that was my manga haul. Hope you enjoyed. I promise more cosplay content is coming soon but I like doing these kind of collection videos in between um, also because I like talking about these things so I might be doing this in a couple months again um, I kind of have been eyeing quite a lot of series plus Christmas and my birthday are coming up so I might be impulsively spending it on manga who knows we shall see thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye